Okay, so I just got 4 gigabytes of DDR3 1333 RAM for my iMac that I'm going to install. Um, I believe this RAM came out of a MacBook Pro. I bought it off eBay for 21 bucks with free shipping, so pretty good deal. So I'm going to be installing it and uh, showing you guys you know, the process of doing that. Okay, so the iMac is on its back and the cover is unscrewed. And there's the RAM cover. Got the RAM. There we go. Now it's in. Get snug in there. Snug to get it in here. Once you get it in, it seems to seat fine. I didn't know way to grip this thing. This computer is kind of odd shape. There we go. Hopefully, I didn't mess anything up. Okay, I think all is well. I think we should start up with opening the cover on it just to see if it can work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, let's see what it tells us. This screen is so dusty. Seems to function properly as of right now. It's taking a little while longer than usual. It's no big surprise. So usually when I upgrade computers, uh, they take a little while to recognize things and start up. Gigabytes, 1333 megahertz, DR3. We're probably not going to see any major performance increase though because um, I think 8 gigabytes is a little bit of overkill, but you know, that's that. So now I'm going to shut back down and put the RAM case cover on thing, whatever. I just messed my words up like I always do, but. So that four gigabytes cost um, twenty-one bucks free shipping. So off of eBay, and it works fine. If I was to buy the RAM pre-installed from Apple, it would cost two hundred dollars, which I think is way overpriced for something like an extra four gigabytes of RAM. But um, as for what the base model of an iMac, they aren't actually that overpriced. But this is not the base model. This is the, um, so the second better model. Yeah, not the second best, the second not as good, second worst model, whatever you want to say. Level 2 out of 4. Yeah. I guess but it's a brand new iMac from this year, so it's pretty snazzy. It's, it's the current version, so it's not outdated or anything yet, but will be soon, I'm sure. So I've got a towel under it to make sure it doesn't scratch at all. Yeah, this computer is really weird to work with. It's not like a normal... Uh, desktop computer shape. It's very weird, so there's really no way you can put it down on the back. Um, it's not awkward. About the prices thing, look how thin that is. That's like thinner than my 23 inch uh, monitor for my gaming PC. And um, 
when I compared all the specs on Newegg, I bought the same, uh, I got a PC with the same specs except a 200 megahertz slower processor and it's about $75 less but um, when you include the fact that this thing is as thin as the monitor alone and um, made like it is so compact it really makes up for it. That'll be good. Unfortunately I kind of thread these screws if that's the right term. Uh, the screwdriver wasn't the proper well it was a proper size but the tip is a little too pointy so why don't you use this one? I don't know because I don't so the tip is way too flat. Alright, so stand it back up and let's turn it back on again. One of the things I don't like about this thing's design is how um the uh all the USB ports and stuff are on the back side, so you can't really get a good um you can't really get a good um reach back there. But uh, is, there is no better place to put these slots though. Except maybe in the side, but it, this computer is pretty easy to slide in and out from here, so it's no major task plugging stuff in. USB hub right there would be pretty cool. What that bothers me is that these little cords in the back of my speakers and my uh, keyboards, not my keyboard, my mouse and this stuff. My, other, my wired mouse I have set up here, it's a piece of crap, but it's still kind of hang down in the back a little bit. Okay. Got my stuff repositioned. see what information you can get here. So memory. Okay, status is okay. So unlike the older models, uh, this iMac actually has four RAM slots as you can tell. The iMac G5 I has have yeah, I can't speak right half the time. The iMac G5 we have um, only has two RAM slots, but they're they're full size RAM slots. They're not the laptop memory size like this thing is. Yeah, the, a lot of the parts to this are laptop parts. The video card is a 6770M. And the M pretty much means it's a laptop video card. But that's pretty much it for the RAM upgrade. I think everything else that we um, didn't mention is going to be mentioned in our. Uh, overview of this thing, which is, um, trying to upload it for about a week now, and it keeps on failing, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna re-record that. I think we're gonna make that right now after this video. Alright, cool. Hey, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye.